welcome to GTV TV at the Mobile World Congress. I'm talking to Alan Ranger of Cloudmark about one of the biggest banes of our lives, scam. Alan, uh, what was it? I think it was gift cards, iPads, insurance scams. These are some of the big threats now coming our way. That's right, yes. So over the course of uh, 2012, we've been monitoring all of the scams and spam uh, arriving via SMS onto our mobile phones. And uh, we've seen that uh, over the course of the year, it's moved from just being sort of irritating advertising through to methods of trying to seal subscribers' money or steal subscribers' details. Yeah, I mean, this is the thing. It's gone past just being annoying. It's getting a bit nasty out there. It certainly is. So, you know, everybody gets annoyed by an irritating text message that arrives at the wrong moment because we all immediately turn to our phone to answer it and take a look. Uh, but what's happening now is that uh, they will offer you something like a, a Walmart gift card or perhaps an iPad, and so you then respond. And what they're trying to do is either get you to sign up to a premium rate service you don't want in order to qualify for the, the gift, uh, or worse, they're going to try and steal your details. What, what can be done about it? I mean, I'm a victim of this myself, as you are, but uh, what, what, what's happening about it? Well, really, as mobile phone users, we need uh, everybody who has a mobile phone to get involved. So what we've done with the GSMA is launch the spam reporting service on a global basis. So this service allows any subscriber in the world to report an unwanted message to their operator. We then take it through our analysis system and we provide the data back to the operator so they can take action against the perpetrators of these attacks. I think in the US alone there's now, what, 330 million people almost acting as policemen for you? That's right, yes. So at Mobile World Congress last year we announced that all four of the major carriers in the US have signed up to the spam reporting service, so that's AT&T, Sprint, Verizon and T-Mobile. Uh, and yes, we have seen a huge number of reports. Tell us about this work with GSMA, because you together are two of the most powerful organisations in this field. Yeah. So obviously the GSMA is the industry's trade body, uh, so it's there to help the operators uh, with all sorts of services such as this. So what we're doing with the GSMA, we make this available to all of their membership, so every operator can launch the service in a very light touch way, and then using the Cloudmark technology that's been developed over the last 12 years to fight spam in email and social networks, we're then able to analyse all of these attacks and provide the operators with actionable information so they can actually stop the perpetrators of these attacks. Fantastic. So. Could we really stop this happening? I think we can. I mean, there are some parts of the world where it's uh, a major problem. So if you look at China, uh, the subscribers there are getting 40, 50 text messages a day. Uh, all of the stuff they unwanted, it was peaking at two or 300, and they were coming in faster than they could delete it. In most of the world, it's still relatively low. Uh, so for example, in North America, uh, we're seeing that it's risen to about one or 2% of all messages. So it's a problem, but it's not swamping. Uh, if we look at email, 95% uh, of all of the emails in the world are spam and unwanted messages. But fortunately, companies like Cloudmark have been able to filter them out. So I really think if we act now, uh, we will have the opportunity to nip this in the bud. We can protect the networks from this increasing sophistication, uh, the damaging attacks that we're seeing. Uh, and yeah, I think we really do have a chance. Yeah, so really, you know, users like us, if they work together with Cloudmark and the GSMA, you can play a major part in helping rid the world of this issue. Very much so. I mean, the worst thing you can do if you have an unsolicited message is to reply back, stop. Because that just shows the attacker that your phone number is a live number. Uh, because these guys are criminals, they're not going to obey the laws of the country. As soon as they identify you as a live target, that's more value to them. They can then sell on your number to other attackers and the other criminal networks around the world. Well, actually, that's a great tip for me and I suspect for many of our viewers. But in the meantime, Alan, thanks very much for talking to us. And thank you.